Adobe has made adding text in Adobe Premiere Pro a very simple process these days. We're going to take a look at some of the features, how to add text, and just a tiny, tiny bit of animation, but we'll save the major animation for a separate tutorial. So let's hop into Premiere and look at how to add text. Here in Premiere Pro, I'm going to use two different workspaces. You can see your workspaces up top or go to Window Workspaces. We're using editing and graphics. The first one we're in here is editing. So we have our video preview up here, our project files in the lower left, our tools right here, and then the timeline to the right. Right now on the timeline, I have a piece of essential graphics text as well as the video. So we're gonna be creating this animation and adding text just like that. And it's gonna fade out here at the end, right over the top of the video. So fairly simple process to add text to your video. All you have to do is find the type tool, click on it, and you can click on your video and add text just like that. So we're gonna put how to add text. Now this text already has some effects applied to it and it has a font that we chose. So the first thing I do after adding text is I click on my graphics workspace and that's gonna open up my central graphics panel on the right and I'm gonna select edit. And that's gonna show me this piece of text that I have. You'll also notice that it added a layer, so a little essential graphics text piece to my timeline on top of my video. So with that layer, we can then control the layer and the text that goes inside of it, which can be multiple different items of text. So if we look up here to the upper right, this is sort of like our project pane for our essential graphics text. We can actually add multiple pieces of text right in here. We can add a new layer, whether it's text, vertical text, or even rectangles, or potentially graphics from a file. We then move on here and we can see how it pins, whether it's responsive, we won't get into that in this video, but then we have all of our text tools. So we can align this to the center or align it either in any way we want, align to the right, align to the left, up, down. We have positioning, anchor points, scaling, and even opacity here. And then as we move our way down to text, we can choose a font. It's probably gonna start with Myriad or, if you're, um, or something else if you're on PC. And then we can choose the font that we wanna use. We can select its style, whether or not it's centered or to the right or left. We'll pick centered on this one. This little guy is our essentially our text or our font size right here so we can select we might go a little bit larger with this one and call this one the title and then we'll create a subtitle as well um, we can do the tracking right here so i've actually tracked that out a little bit i would recommend it for a little bit more cinematic look um, and then we have all of these other text and character options down in appearance we can change the color of our text so we could click on this maybe go into the orangey yellows and select something like that that we saw before we also can add a stroke, we can add a background to our text, it's kind of like a background square. And we can also add a shadow, so you can see that I added a little bit of a shadow and then we can adjust that opacity of the shadow, the angle, the distance, the spread, as well as the what they call the sides, which is kind of like the feathering of the shadow. So we have lots of different op options here that we can mess around with when it comes to our text. Now, oh, I want to add a little bit more color into that. Took a little bit too much out. There we go. Now I'm going to center this back up and I'm going to show you how to add potentially a subtitle. So what you can do here is sort of a artistic choice. Depends on how you want to work with your text. You could just use the type tool again and add another text layer. So it's going to add another layer out here. Or if you want to work with that one block as a single element, you can go up and add into this essential graphics text piece another layer. And I'm gonna add another text layer. You see it added it there. And I can actually just use my selection tool and move this text layer around as well, which is pretty nice. You can just move these pieces around right on your video. And if I double click on it, I can go in here and retype something. So we'll say in Premiere Pro to sort of mimic what's in the thumbnail. We can change this to white. We can make it a lot smaller. We of course can center it and then we can actually center it or transform center that. Now the last piece I wanna show you. If I look over to my left side, my effects controls, 
and I'm gonna blow this effects controls pane up by hitting the tilde key. That will full screen whichever uh, window pane you're, oh, actually I'm typing right now, so we're gonna undo that. I need to click off of that, so maybe back on my selection tool. Then I can use the tilde key. And you see it kind of blew up the effects panel so it's full screen. Use tilde again, it's a little squiggly line, and it'll shrink it back down. You can do that with any of these panes, just like that. So if we're looking at this, and I minimize a couple of these, I have both of my layers of text over here. And I can drop those down and edit any of the source text information or the transformation properties. So like position and scale, and I can actually animate those as well with keyframes. So you can do that with both pieces of text separately, or you can go in here and just animate the entirety of that motion graphics piece all at once. So if we back out, we can grab this bottom piece of text. You can see it's this one right here. I can change the position to bump it right up below our original piece of text. I can go back to this guy, change his tracking down to 50 and maybe make him a little bit larger instead. And so in that way you can sort of work back and forth between the essential graphics panel and the properties in your effect controls to adjust the positioning, sizing, and animation of your text. And speaking of animation, right now we don't have anything going on. The text is just on screen. We can move this layer over so the text doesn't appear yet. As we play, the text is just gonna pop in right now and it pops in at the same exact time. So what we could do, if I use that tilde key again, now I'm seeing this entire effect controls of my text. I can go to the beginning of when my graphic exists and I can say, all right, I want to just transform the opacity. This is the tiny bit of animation we're gonna do in this tutorial. So I can click on that uh, stopwatch and it's gonna add a keyframe out here. This keyframe is basically opacity at 100%. So I can drag that keyframe out a little and then I could just drag the opacity all the way down to zero. And that means it's gonna go from zero to 100. So if we hit tilde and kind of preview this now, you'll see in Premiere Pro, it did it very quickly. But if we sort of scale that out so it takes a little bit longer, in Premiere Pro is going to take a little bit of time to sort of uh, appear on screen. We could do the same thing here with the how to add text, so the larger title portion. If we minimize that and then minimize the source text and show all the properties for the how to add text piece, we can actually add, same thing, just click the stopwatch, it's gonna add a keyframe. We can go back to the beginning, add another keyframe, make this one all the way down to zero. And now they're both gonna look like they fade in at the exact same time. But if we want the subtitle to fade in after the title, we can just drop this down and we can click and drag to grab both these keyframes and just bump them over like that. So this is kind of like a timeline where this happens first and then that. So now it's gonna look a little bit like this, how to add text in Premiere Pro. And if we want that to all fade out, a quick trick that I do is I just will right click on my text block and it's gonna say apply default transitions. As long as you haven't adjusted that at all, it's gonna be a cross dissolve. And so that's just gonna act like a fade out, if you will. So now we've created this little staggered fade in with our text and then after it hangs for a little while it's going to fade out that's the uh, long-winded version of how to add text to your uh, projects in adobe premiere pro if you guys have any questions or comments hit me up down below if there's anything else you want to see in regards to text maybe it's animations or uh, different ways that i utilize text um, potentially with lower thirds things like that let me know in the comments below. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time.